Afternoon guys, Terry Bartlett here. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog video that I've um, put on YouTube and I, I did say, well, I would put some more videos that I could possibly can do and uh, if you like um, <clears throat> trains, that's good enough and for Indigo Stars, I've I was talking to her on the stream last night because it was her birthday yeah, happy birthday if, well, you know who I am, Indigo, if you watch, well, I haven't watched my videos yet, I know. Since I asked you, are you interested in trains, what is your favourite steam locomotive? And you said, you're not interested, you don't know anything about trains, no problem, I can always do other vehicles if you're into vehicles. If you're not, don't worry, I can do story time videos if you want. Airwolf stories, I could try and do that too. But today, hmm, I decided to do... A story for Indigo Stars for her if she's gonna watch this video that I'm gonna upload in the, in a bit is a story time video about her characters because I, I love her characters and it's a story time video of Godzilla I used to watch Godzilla when I was a kid when I was when I was about in, in my late teens and my early young 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 years that Godzilla used to come on CBBC all the time and I had I had some DVDs of it and Godzilla, I huh, do love, you gotta love that creature to me the, the Japanese Godzilla is good but the American Godzilla is also good too but even though the Japanese called it Zilla for short I don't know why, I just prefer to call it Godzilla USA um, the American Godzilla but as you know it's, I like the movie where a man comes from studying worms to studying a big gigantic lizard who attacks New York City well he doesn't really attack it he just goes there to nest I don't know why this ain't a fetish type thing it's just like routine what animals go through like they want to breathe that Sometimes they reproduce asexually. That's what as you saw in the movie of Godzilla. That that is a review I could do later on. So this, let's get to the story, shall we, folks? It's it's Godzilla the series. I've created it myself. I haven't created the previous series. If you, if you want to find the people who created it, that's up to you. So I've created this story. Say I called it series three. If they did a series three, and it's called. Uh, a vampire's mutation problem that's for you indigo so if you're into godzilla let me know and i could ask you questions so here's the story here's one part of the story i'm going to read first i have to read it in paragraphs i'm trying to see if i can do english literature at kenson chelsea college so here goes it was springtime in amsterdam and the kindred vampires were having fun in the at the club Maria, the prince of the prince, who walked in with Celine and Laurie to have a drink, but they heard a big, loud screeching noise. Sounded like a bat. It was a, it was a vam, a giant vampire bat, the size of the Eiffel Tower. <clears throat> The kindreds were horrified and ran to shelter. The bat trashed the club, in other words, like wrecked the entire place. The club, Maria said, eh, trashed the club, sorry, trashed the club. Maria said, I know what this uh, is for, she said in a calm voice. Just then, Caladora walked in with her pet girlfriend, Jackie, on a leash. She said, don't worry, I know some people who will take care of that giant bat. I can't do it, but it, I can't do it because I don't, I do not have a spell for it. But Laurie spoke first. Oh, I know who she means. I used to work in Manhattan in New York before I came to Amsterdam to become a vampire. This is a job for heat. 
So if, if you guys don't know what HEAT means, it stands for Humanitarian uh, Humanitarian Environmental Analysis Team. That's what it's known for in, this, in the Godzilla series. Next part, uh, is that, yeah, I've got time. Yeah, yeah, got time. <clears throat> in New York, Nick Totopoulos was a science teacher in Manhattan, in a Manhattan college for his part-time job. When he arrived <clears throat> at Heat headquarters, the telephone rang. <clears throat> Nick picked it up and said, <clears throat> Heat. Uh, oh, what, what, what did he say? Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Hello, Heat. Oh, hello, Laurie. Long time no see. Long time no see. How how are things in Amsterdam? What? Okay. We'll be right there. See you soon. As he put the, as he put the phone down. As he put the phone down and told everyone. All right, pe all right, people. Uh, I mean, all right, guys. Time to set sail. Urgent call from Amsterdam. Another giant vampire bat, the size of the Eiffel Tower. Monique, it is your home continent. Monique said, "My home continent." But Philippe would. But Philippe would have called. Called me Amsterdam, my friend. My friend wouldn't happen to be Laurie, would it? Nick said, yes, I knew her as well when she helped me study worms. They set sail for Amsterdam. Godzilla, Godzilla, who was in the water, as he always is, guys, in the series, he's always in the water or at his lair. As you see in the series, he's always in his lair. Or sometimes he's in the water hunting with fish, but when he sees that boat, when he sees the heat seeker boat, eh, spoiler, sorry, is 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 the other part. No, I said Godzilla followed. Godzilla followed. He saw the heat seeker boat leaving, so that means he he follows it. He knows wherever Nick Topless goes, he goes with him. And next 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 line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, yep, good time. Good timing. When they arrived, Maria, uh, Laurie, Laurie, Maria, and Celine were waiting for them. Maria said, "Welcome to Amsterdam. I am Maria, the prince of all kindreds. This way, please." Monique said, "They are vampires. Why are we helping them, Doctor Tetopolis?" They must serve that vampire bat. No, Nick said. Well, Nick Topless says this. No, they don't. Laurie, <clears throat> they don't. Laurie contacted me about this mutation, even though they are vampires. We'll set up here at the club. Just then, the bat started to attack. Nick said, Mendel. Signal Godzilla. The prince said, w "Wait a minute, Godzilla, won't he attack us?" Nick said, "No, he is the only one that can stop that that thing. We call him using Nigel. As you know, they always signal Godzilla using that little robot they always carry around, Nigel, Mendel's robot. He always gets trashed, but in this story, he doesn't. So, lucky Mendel." Yeah, where's the next bit? Ah, oh, here we are. Just then, Godzilla jumped out of the water. Just then, Godzilla jumped out of the water. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Aha, uh, uh -huh. here we are. Jumped out of the water. With a big loud roar, Randy said, Yee! You gotta love the G-Man's timing. 
Godzilla started to fight the bat using his power breath. The bat hated it and burst into flames and turned into ash. Maria said, Well, I must say, I am impressed by Godzilla's loyalty. Godzilla came, came to look at the vampires, but Nick said, It's okay, they're with us. Godzilla looked at Maria. She said, Thank you, Godzilla. You have been a big help. As he swam away back home. Back home, along with the heat heading along with heat heading back to for Manhattan. With new recruits, the vampire kindreds who will work night shifts with their recording of the signaler for Godzilla and they lived happily ever after. The end. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a fantastic achievement. I did well, <clears throat> I, as I said, I did watch Godzilla when I was a kid and I still watch him now on YouTube because Godzilla is a big monster. Yes, he's a monster, but he's a good kind of monster, even though he only attacks if he's provoked, even though he ain't real. But if he was real, don't attack him. Even though if he attacks, if Nick Totopoulos was real he, and he still, still was his adopted father figure, he'll tell him, Back away, back away, and then Godzilla does a little moany growl, and then he goes back home, and he goes away. Just like any parent would do, <clears throat> like telling Godzilla to just go to his room, go back home, and he does, he just goes back to his cave and goes to sleep, That's until he's needed again. But as you know, the series has been gone on for a well, did go on for only for two seasons, just only two. But if they brought a third one out, they'd have to make new recruits, new monsters, new mutations for Heat to fight, for Godzilla to fight, and for situations where Godzilla always gets hurt. So, th this ain't a vlog video, guys. This is a story video for Indigo Stars. If she likes it, good on her, because consider that a present from me, and... I support her every step of the way, and I'm hoping to do more story videos of Godzilla, but not just Godzilla, but Airwolf as well. If there's any Airwolf fans out there, I hope you look forward to, well, stories I write about myself. I remember having a dream about flying Airwolf, and that was a fantastic, I will never forget that, it stuck in my mind, I'll never forget that. I love Airwolf, it's a good helicopter. If, you, if there are any Airwolf fans out there, please like, comment on this video, and um, I'll probably do some Airwolf stories, and plus I could do more of Indigo Star stories, because yesterday, that story she told, mm, it's alright, but it's okay, but, well, it's only a nighttime routine, and uh, not, nothing sexual or fetish or whatever whatever we had to call it but it, it's by her friend who wrote the story it she didn't write it herself it was her friend who wrote the story but anyway guys hope you've enjoyed the story i've told of godzilla and hopefully we can appeal to those guys who created it years ago in the 90s when it was brought out to continue the story of Godzilla fighting monsters, fighting evil. Even when in the Monster Wars episode, he, he was turned against his own friends by aliens. Aliens with mind control abilities. I mean, there are, even though we can't believe there are aliens out there who wish to conquer the Earth, but we'd always fight back if they try and conquer our planet. Our planet is full of amazing things. So we can put it to good use. And there's a guy, I've been watching uh, Flying Scotsman with Robson Green last night. And it was a good, it was a good story about how Flying Scotsman was built, how it was built at Doncaster, became famous, became a famous engine. And it's now at the National Rail Museum York, at York. But on the 4th of June, it's going out from London, Victoria, 
all the way to York again. I'm probably not going to catch catch up with it as well when I go on the Scarborough Flyer, hopefully, to York. And I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves out there. And I'd like to thank those who commented on the previous video. I'd like to thank Jessica Taylor. Thank, th thank you, Jessica. That was a kind suggestion. And I'd like to thank Liam, who commented. And even though I can't subscribe to anyone just yet, I'm not in no rush to. So give me time, guys, and I'll think about it and I'll subscribe to you guys if you want me to so enjoy yourselves and have a great time and don't forget to tune in next week Tuesday I'll, I'll be there at Kenston Olympia before 9.06 I've got to go there early to get myself set up and old boy steaming if you're watching this we get it's Kenston Olympia. That's the best place to film two two engines, double heading, going all the way through Kenston Olympia. Because it's two LMS engines, Royal Scott and Ian Riley's Black 5. It's good to see Ian Riley's Black 5 again. I hope you've watched the previous Christmas one that I've... Well, I did two Christmas ones. One that had Ian Riley's Black... Two of Ian Riley's Black 5s, 44871 and 45407, the Lancashire Fusilier and Sovereign. That's what 44871's name double heading a trip the cathedrals express like going from kent all the way i don't know all the way probably to bristol and then back again but it's really good it was really a really nice gesture of double headed locomotives we should get more of that really more of that and also keep your eyes open for more review videos i'm planning to do some review videos on steam locomotives and some history of steam locomotives if you want, of individual ones this will be called terry Terry Bartlett steam locomotive reviews in order. So that means I'll be doing different regional locomotives, standard ranges, all types of locos, including the Gresley Pacifics, 460s, 260s, which are known as moguls, and and 10 wheelers. And also the Mighty 9F. So I haven't seen one yet, but I'll have to go and see the 9F, which is at the at the Minhance Railway, which is Jeremy Hoskins 9F. 92212 I like to call if that that engine hasn't been given a name since 92214 has been given Central Star and been posing as Evening Star for gala events I like to give 92212 a name I like to call it Southern Star and paint it into British well you can stay as British Railways black that is a good colour for a 9F but green is a nice colour for a 9F but, if, but British Railways would have a different opinion if they were here today, and thankfully they're not. And Network Rail, I'm, I do support Network Rail, I do support them, but they have their reasons to keep safety of steam on the network. Plus there are gauging issues that need to be resolved. That some engines, like 460s, like Mayflower, she can go anywhere, she's a go-anywhere engine, and the Black 5, that's a go-anywhere locomotive. And I don't want to see what's the what's wrong with the Royal Scott. That a Royal Scott can go anywhere, and a Jubilee. Well, Jubilee, well, sort of, because apparently there's a gauging issue with Galatea on the Western region. So if Steam Dreams are watching this, please find another steam locomotive. We can't just have all diesel hauled locomotives, diesel hauled trains on your on Cathedral's Express. If you're going to put them on the Cathedral's Express, make sure you put the headboard on, on the diesel. Because diesels do have a habit of taking trains, well they do have a habit of sta do have a good time of standing in for locos that are not available. But use Royal Scott. Check out Royal Scott. If it's good enough, use that because that's a good engine. That can easily pull away with a well, I don't know how many coaches there were, but and David Griffin, that's a you do good videos, mate. Good. And live stream. I might do a live stream one day, might do one, if you guys have questions I would happily do steam locomotive live, live streams, but I can't do it from me, uh, from me phone, I, uh, as you know is my phone just here, doing like Indigo Star she always does this, my phone here does um, photographs of um, steam locomotives, I haven't got a proper camera, I haven't got the proper equipment for it, because uh, my house is too small. My house is too small. We have lots of stuff, as you see. But 
I'm planning, well, maybe one day when I have my own place, one day when we have a money or win the lottery one day on, which won't happen, win the lottery and we'll probably get our own house and probably, um, if I am going to, if I did move house, I'd like to live somewhere close to a railway line and that where steam engines go through or near a steam railway, I can always have film steam railways from my backyard, but from my here, I'm close to a railway line here, which is in the back of my garden, I'm close to a railway line, so steam engines come by, give me a whistle when they see me. But my friends see me all the time, so at Stewart's Lane, of course, because I work with the MNLPS, Merchant Navy Loco Preservation Society. Clan line is almost ready for back in steam. If you have questions on clan line, or if you want to go to our website, it's www.clan-line.org.uk. If you want to become members, just click on become a member, which is at the bottom part of the website and click on become a member, fill in your name. How much do you want to pay? What membership do you want to do? If you want to be a standard membership, it's 24 quid, guys, it's 24 pounds. I don't know if we do abroad ones, but I don't know about what's happening with the European Union at the moment, because I'm voting staying in the EU. For those, I don't like what Boris Johnson's said to Barack Obama. Barack Obama, I do support. Barack, Mr. Obama, Mr. President, sir, if you're watching this and the White House is watching this, please subscribe to my channel because I support America. I love America. Thinking of going there one day and do a video down there on their steam locos because they're massive. You've got the 611, the 765 and two couple of locos that are oil burning, which is Fair enough, because you can't get coal anywhere else. You can only do certain places where you're allowed coal. I don't want the European Union to stay together, because otherwise we're never going to put the end to a fight, this war that we're at now with I, you know who, IS. It's ridiculous. It's a stupid thing to do, going to war. I know we're, we're supposed to protect our citizens here in the UK and in Europe as well, and in the Netherlands. I do feel sorry for those guys in Brussels, to, to those people in Brussels. I do have sympathy for them. What happened was very bad. we got to put an end to this war. To this, well, as Nick Abbott would say on the... Um, <clears throat> Nick Abbott would say on the radio, it's problem last time I was, I was before I was going to sleep. This is my bedroom, guys, my bedroom. And I thought, well, well, he said the problem was religion. I don't think that's it at all. Well, it may be really, it may be the problem, but I don't, I'm not too sure. But anyway, I've got to go now, guys. I've got busy things to do. I've got to play my train simulator. And if you want to see photographs or videos of that, I'll try and find a way to do video reviews on Steam Locos of add-ons that I'm trying to get one at a time. I've got to take it easy, guys, because it's money-wise, because we've got bills to pay, which is <clears throat> very problematical. You have, to, you have to pay your bills, pay your taxes all the time, plus save up money. Oh, plus, I've got college at Kenton Chelsea College on a Thursday. Lady Allen, sometime, Lady Allen Venture Playground. That's another pl uh, playground I work with up at um, Wandsworth. I work, th I'm a volunteer there. I help look after children with disabilities. And we are in dire need of some recruits. We need some recruits. So if there's any, if kids are watching this, please um, see if you get any some recruits to work at Lady Allen Venture Playground. Or even some celebrities, TV presenters can come and volunteer for us. That would be fantastic. We can raise enough money to look after kids, take them on trips that they love to go on, that take them to places that they've never been to before. We take them to other playgrounds like Haywood or Charlie Chaplin, any anywhere. But we we used to go to Battersea Park, but that but, but thanks to Boris Johnson and his stupidness closing down Battersea Park Adventure Playground. That was very stupid. That was stupid. I couldn't go, I don't go protesting against them guys, but I, I do protest, oh, well, I have to, if I had to protest, I would have done, but I don't want Adventure Playgrounds to close, because they are needed for um, 
children with disabilities and they don't have anywhere to go and they don't go to you sometimes they go to youth clubs but it's just to keep crime off the streets just to keep it off the streets i know the metropolitan police are doing their job here in london but <sighs> and i'll just ignore whatever is going to happen if there was a bit i know there's a big alert on london at the moment but i'm not bothered about it i mean i know i should be bothered but as the police say, act vigilantly. If I saw any, if I saw anything, I'd report it. But what's the point? Well, you just don't just don't go up to any guys who are acting suspiciously. Just follow what the train announcements say. Just follow what they say. Uh, I've got to go now, guys. So keep up the good work, and see you guys very soon. Shoot. For my next video, it's going to be on a Tuesday, so I'm I'm trying I'm going to try and go up to Kensington Olympia to film the two steam engines going through. Then I'll probably do uh, another story time video after that. I'll do an Airwolf story video if you guys want to. I'll try my best, and that's see if I can play some Airwolf music at the same time. Plus the Airwolf main theme, that is a good tune, really good. To Sy Sylvester Levey, thanks for producing that tune for that series. And I hope one day Airwolf will come back. Uh, as far as rumours are concerned, that it hopefully it will come back as a big show. And to Ernest Borgnine, God rest his soul, he's a good, great actor. I, I do like that guy. He's very funny and good. So, see you next week, guys. Have a good weekend. And uh, see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.